We follow Joe looking fantastic with, with a, a segment about biscuits, but not just any biscuits, extraordinary biscuits. Uh, this man uh, look, may look familiar to you if you're a fan of the hit TV show Top Chef from season 15, Chef Testant Chris Scott is with us because he's opening up his first I don't want to say restaurant. It's a joint. It's literally a joint. Yeah, it's a juke in, joint. Yeah. Down in Bridgeport. Yep. The Birdman Juke Joint. Nice to have you here. Nice to see we, you we again, had, man. We had the pleasure of meeting at a charity event last year, and I'm just delighted that you were up here. First, uh, we're going to talk about these, these biscuits in a second. But yeah. Let's talk about the Birdman yeah. Juke Joint, because okay. this is more than just a restaurant. There's a little history with this. It is. You know, the Birdman was the chicken farmer that was on the plantation mm -hmm. before and after uh, slavery. You know, so we're going back to like the mid 1800s here around the Civil War time. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So it's the it's the positive story about that individual mm -hmm. and how we he just came throughout the years. Because as the slaves were freed, he went to work as what? A chicken man right. making some fantastic uh, chicken dishes. Absolutely, chicken, right? absolutely. So yeah. that's the that's the, the centerpiece of this new restaurant that's opening up in a matter of weeks down in uh, Bridgeport near the Black Rock section. But you're doing here uh, something that that you've become kind of kind of famous for it. Yeah, so, yeah. You, you, you did this on the show, didn't you? On I Top did. Chef. I did. Uh -huh. This right here is the uh, brown sugar biscuits, uh -huh. you know, and they got rave reviews on the show and people have been beating down the door for the recipe <laughs> and like calling the restaurant. You say that like everything. that's a bad thing. <laughs> Give me your biscuit recipe. All right, so what are we doing here? What do we have in the bowl? Well, I have a little bit of, well, first off, this recipe right here is seven generations in my family. No kidding. Yeah, and to get it from my people, I mean, it was like pulling teeth. You know, <laughs> so then finally when I did get it, you know, I try to keep it as authentic sure. as it was from when my grandparents did it. But, you know, it's it's buttermilk, it's butter, it's flour, you know. Somewhere somewhere up in the heavens, your great, 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 right. great grandparents are looking going, Isn't that he's, something? he's sharing this on what now? <laughs> TV? Oh Isn't that God. something? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so basically I'm making like maybe three ounce bowls. Okay. It's, it's it's essentially a drop biscuit. Okay. And then I bake it off and and put some. Uh, My hands are clean. Yeah. All right. So just I put some brown sugar I've on top. I've never done this before on TV. I think and, I've, I think I've gone too big. So just <laughs> that's a quick fine. Roll? Okay. Yeah, just a quick roll. Put that right in inside. Uh, the one the one that looks strained in the middle. <laughs> Mine right there. Uh -huh. So at Birdman, we're going to be doing a biscuit brunch. Oh really? Right. Well, I like and that. Featuring these biscuits filled with things like country fried steak, smoked salmon, poached eggs, there, fried eggs. There's a, there's a southern influence. There's a little Amish influence because you got right. your start in Philly, didn't you? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, put these in the. Oven. All right. We, we got to glaze them up first, right? Well, we're going to put these in. Okay. And then I have some that are all set to go. Excellent. Oh. Can I say, you, you were up against an, a, another competitor uh, who's well known around here, Tyler Anderson. My dear friend, and that's Ty, my brother. Tyler over at uh, Mill Rights and the Cook of, Cook of the Mirror, big, big friend of his. Yeah. But I was rooting for you at the end. <laughs> I, I really thought that you had it all the way. But you are all tight. You're all very friendly. Very He's close. been a big supporter of this. Absolutely. Now you've, you're glazing with what? This right here is butter and brown sugar. That's simple enough. Yeah. How long in the oven do, do those go for? Uh, about 20 minutes okay, for the biscuits. golden brown those and are. And then if you want to, you can actually, after you glaze it, you can put these right back into the oven, uh -huh. and it kind of makes like a magic shell on top. Sure. You know, uh -huh. so when you get it, you can just bite right into that sugar, or you can just take it just like so. Do, do any of them actually last back into the into the uh, oven the second time? Usually not. Kind of go pulling. I Usually love Usually not. Birdman Juke Joint is the place opening up in uh, downtown uh, Bridgeport in just a couple of weeks. We welcome you to Connecticut. We, uh, we're happy to have you. And as I take a bite, I say thanks for coming in. Yeah, Recipe my pleasure. Online, my pleasure. Just don't tell his ancestors. Erica, <laughs> over to you. Oh, well, those look really good, but we have something.